Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and it's Monday, so that means Mac Tip Monday. So we're going to show you how to capture your screen. That means we're going to show you how to capture your screen with either video, or you can just capture a picture or image on your screen. There's some applications to do that, but it's actually built into your Mac, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how that works. We'll also go ahead and recommend an application that I like to use regularly, and hopefully it'll be free most weeks, but this time it is free, so we'll talk about that in a bit. But let's go ahead and show you how to capture your screen. So here we have my desktop, and it's simple enough. We just want to capture what's on the desktop right now and make a screen capture of it. We can do that by holding down Command, Shift, and the number 3. It just captured my screen and placed a copy of it right on my desktop over here. So that's pretty simple, and that's really about all there is to that. If we want to actually figure out where uh, we want to capture a specific area, we can do that with Command Shift 4. And we get some uh, little marker here we can drag and to the any size we want, and again it captures it. Pretty simple, works well, and there you have it. So we can go over here and there's our screen capture. Really pretty simple and that's about it. Now if we want to screen record like I use right now on my Mac, uh, I'm not actually recording via this method, I'm using ScreenFlow uh, because I can edit and things afterwards, but the free method is to use QuickTime. So let's go ahead and open QuickTime. So here's QuickTime and it's open, you can see up here. And if I want to record things, I just go to File. I can do a new movie recording. That will record from the FaceTime camera and the audio. I can record an audio recording or a screen recording. So if I click on Screen, rec screen Recording, we can go here and we have a few options. Under this arrow, we have Blue Icicle, which is the input I'm using from my XLR mic right here. It goes straight into my computer via USB. I also have another way of doing that, depending on what I'm recording, but in this case, it's the Blue Icicle. I can select it, it will use that for my audio. I can select quality, the options, and where I want to save it to. All I have to do is click record and it will record directly onto the desktop. When it's done, it saves, you just finish and you're done. It records your screen. Pretty simple, it's free, and then you can edit it later in iMovie or Final Cut or whatever your preference there. So really nice, it's built in and it's free. Now the application I have for recommending today is called Rivet. Rivet is a free application. It used to be a pay application I paid for a long time ago, and it allows me to stream my content from my Mac to my Xbox, PS3, or Wii. And it's pretty nice. Let me go ahead and open it here. It'll open up, and what it is is a streaming application, like I said, and it has a few options. Here's my computer name. We can share movies, music, photos, movies, music, photos there for genera uh, thumbnails, generate thumbnails, and we can automatically have it launch it, log in if we want to keep it on all the time. We can select where our movies are from, so we can enable movie sharing, and you can see it's sharing from iTunes, iPhoto and my downloads folder. If I want to just dump something in and take a look at it, I can see it on my Xbox. Now, obviously, these you want to have purchased movies or family movies or something like that, but it'll stream right over really nicely, works well. Same for music, photos, and it will it also does your playlist. So if you like a lot of playlists, and here's your network options. We can enable PS3 MP4 streaming. Really pretty simple and really nice. It's, it's not a whole lot of options, but it's free, and it works great, and you can't complain too much about free. I don't think it's supported anymore, but it does work just fine on Lion and all the previous versions, at least a few versions back to Leopard, I think, is when I first used it. So I would highly recommend checking that out if you ever want to stream video from your Mac to your Xbox or PlayStation or whichever console you prefer. Now, I'm not sure if it's available for Windows, but... If it is, check it out or comment below. I'll leave a link to it either way, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. Now, if you have any suggestions for tips or other software that you might want to want me to uh, check out, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. As always, I love to hear what you have to say, so please go ahead and do that. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and do that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.